Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Similarly, you were a fierce critic of President um, Edgar Lungu to the extent that they would even call you that you are UPND yeah. when you were supporting you know, this change mm -hmm. that took place in 2021. Um, just briefly speak about President Lungu, then we begin to end with President uh, Hakainde Ichilema. Um, you see, it's very difficult to understand and appreciate what I stand for if you don't know me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Many a time, people will think I belong to that faction, to this faction, but I know where I belong. I belong to the Republic of Zambia. Mm -hmm. And I serve the interest, national interest, in my own individual capacity. Mm -hmm. I have a constitutional obligation to contribute. Mm -hmm. The Patriotic Front, under the leadership of Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, had uh, gone off the mark. Mm. in that uh, we slowly started losing our rights, freedoms and liberties but most importantly there was an attack on our constitutional democracy and for that reason we needed to engage in what was constitutionally provided for mm. change of government Mm. regime change mm. and that was within our uh, responsibility and we highlighted in a manner that coerced every right thinking citizen to come on board I joined eminent citizens in, Oas uh, in Osida I was invited by Simon Zukas, by Gilbert Temba, um, Emeritus Archbishop Mpundu, um, and many more. Leslie Mbula. Leslie Mbula, Mbula mm. uh, Opin Kumbula, mm. Madam Lili Monze, Botis Kapulu. The list is long. We said we need to wrestle power from the, the Patriotic Front. And uh, we looked at uh, what special purpose vehicle can we use. Because there are a lot of political parties, but they are weak. Then we have a political party that, has, that is lacking national character. And that's a UPND. Mm -hmm. And we resolved as Osida that let's give them this support to disrupt the Patriotic Front's administration. But we also need to understand that our colleagues, when they come, they will do things differently. Mm. Hence, the UPND administration came to power on the backbone of change. Mm. They came to power on the backbone of the restoration of the rule of law. Mm. These two things were paramount. The economy will be handled by them and the people of Zambia. Once the people are free, to participate. Once the people are consulted on 
regular basis. Once uh, democratic institutions are independent, and to that score, I want your listeners to understand. Mm. Because in this country, we have unsung heroes who have contributed silently. Mm. And here, I must bring the name of Justice Professor Philip Musonda. Mm. I was a conduit between Judge Musonda and President Akainde Ichilema, mm. in which there was an agreed position. Mm. And this is where you see some of us very disappointed yeah. that institutions of governance will be independent. Mm. What do I mean? From 1964, a state-owned enterprise are run by boards which are appointed by line ministries. Mm. The board at Zesco is, is appointed by the energy minister. The board at NAPSA is appointed by the minister of labor, and so on and so forth. It was an agreed position that once the minister appoints the board, it must be ratified by parliament. Once the board is ratified by parliament, the minister cannot dissolve that board. Mm. And the board will appoint the CEO of that parastato. So that through, through a competitive process. Yes, through a competitive process. Now, being a minister of energy, and he not says that things are not going well at Zesco, the minister will raise an issue at parliament. And the board will be summoned at parliament. So there will be the minister here. And here there will be a board. In between there will be a parliamentary select committee to listen from either side. Mm. Why certain things are not working elsewhere. Mm. And if the board is guilty, the select committee will recommend for its dissolution and a new, mini, a, 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 a new board will be established. Mm. Same, the board that will run the Anti-Corruption Commission will be appointed by the President, but ratified by Parliament. Mm. And the President cannot dissolve that board. So, yeah. the, the, your interaction with the UPND prior to um, elections and your support mm. with OSIDA, yes. with personalities like Judge Philip Musonda yes. and others, mm. Your call was that institutions must be strengthened. Be strengthened. Oversight mm. institutions should, uh, mm. uh, should should rise, such as uh, I think uh, one of your famous officers you've wanted mm. that uh, it should be uh, can, can oversight the president. Mm. He's the public protector. The public protector. Yes. You wanted these institutions sure. and the, to thrive. And President Akainde agreed while in the opposition that his first action to operationalize that office, whatever the bottlenecks mm, mm, mm. will be. The office of the public protector. Mm. Will be operationalized. We are two and a half years in this administration. We don't even know. People are drawing allowances. Public protector, you as people in the media, interview Madam Caroline Soconi. And I will tell you what. When the president appointed the 20 judges, the famous 20 judges, mm. Madam Caroline Sogoni was one of them. Mm. Literally trying to abolish that office, mm. I made an inquiry. You are appointing her into the high court as a judge. By the way, at PA, she was not promoted. Mm. Who is the new public protector? But we must give her credit. Mm. She refused to move an inch. Oh, she declined. She declined. Mm. And she is still our public protector. And Mr. Aga Indejirema can do nothing. Because mm. she is protected by law. Mm. Mm. So these are institutions we thought when Mr. Aga Indejirema would come and change and strengthen. I'll give you one of my discussion with him while in opposition. He's the Inspector General of Police. Mm. Mm. 
it was a written document by Judge Musonda that we remove the Inspector General of Police from the command of the Minister of Home Affairs because mm. it's a political animal with interest to serve. Mm. The IG must be appointed by the President, ratified by Parliament, and must report to the Attorney General. Mm. That was a proposal. Yes, that was a proposal. And mm. in the last two years, we must have seen a lot of changes. In my private conversation with the president, before he became president, mm. I always told him one thing. The day you'll have a chance to speak to him, he will confirm this. Mm. I told him we are going to become president of the Republic of Zambia. Mm. I want you to do one thing. I want you to beat Levi Patrick Mwanawasa's record in terms of good, of governance. In good governance, integrity, mm. and national... And the fight against corruption. Not only that, but national building. Mm. Mm. But I can tell you here now, on a scale of 0 to 10, the president might have scored one mm. being the least mm. because he has made no changes mm. to the way the pf ran this country in fact is a replica of the patriotic front and many of us are wondering as to why did we change we should have just panel beaten mr edgar jagarungu to remove the cadres from the street because on that, we give him credit. Although, he over-credit himself. But we give him credit. Because he can't finish a sentence without a patriotic front. Mm. Because he's, a, he's one animal that haunts him day in and day out. Mm. But this is our expectation when we supported Mr. Againde and the UPND yeah. is change mm. and the restoration of the rule of law. Um, mm. As we begin to, I think, wind up and I'll invite you for your last remarks. When we hear your story, the way you've told it, mm. you've had interactions with the president. Your current criticism of President Againde Ishilema is not that they've denied you a job or no. you wanted a no. job. I think your story, when Zambians hear it, they realize that you speak, I think, from the passion of this country. What has gone wrong? Why has President Nagainde Echilema failed and failed so early? Uh, first, let me acknowledge one thing on Mr. Akainde Echilema. When he won power, he became our head of state. We, are, we were on the same page. I was privileged that the president offered me many opportunities, any job. I remember Amasaka is my, my witness, Clayson. Clayson, uh, yes. yes, Amasaka. Special communications. Yes. Um, when the president gave me a blanket, Request, a blanket request. He said, Brebna, tell me what do you want? What, what you want? Which job do you want? Uh, I told him, I'll tell you when I'm ready. He asked me, I think on several occasions, there is a time I told him, I said, Mr. President, I'll tell you, at the moment, I want to be your supervisor. <laughs> and he laughed. He said, Brebna, can you supervise the head of state? I said, there is always the first time. There is um, another time he asked me whether I could go. He, in fact, let me repeat his words. He said, Brebna, you are, you, you are growing old. You need to rest. You need time to, to rest. Um, wouldn't you want to go into a diplomatic in foreign service. In foreign service, diplomatic service. 
I, I, and and uh, I remember my answer uh, was that I can't go into exile on a diplomatic passport. <laughs> you considered mm. it exile? <laughs> yes, because uh, I have a free mind and I want to say what I want to say. Mm. Then he told me something which probably has come to, to pass. He said, I have done all I could have done. I've offered you a job. I know your agenda. Mm. You want to come, you want to start attacking me. He told me that, <laughs> the president. I know your agenda. Yeah. Because I am being very supportive. You have done a lot of things. You need a job. In, in sacrifice for our country. For, yes, yes mm -hmm. you need a job. I told him, people like me hardly would work for somebody. Do mm -hmm. you attack the president? No, I don't. Explain that. Yes, let me tell you. We have a very unusual situation which I've noticed at my age. I have attacked all administrations without exception. This is the first administration that I've seen which is highly sensitive to criticism. And whenever you criticize, it's because you never wanted the Tonga to be a president. Oh, and it is, irritates me. That is sad. Yes. Is sad. I'm Whenever always, I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, also, you know, I, uh, I, I, I literally uh, freeze when I hear the president yes. say that. I, I, and it pains those who support this regime. Did you support mm. him because he was stronger? Not at all. I supported mm. him because he was president. HH is my friend for your information. Yes. We have never discussed a tribe before he became president. But it has become... A topical issue. And the president is driving this agenda of division. I must say it and put it on record. Mm. The president assured me, just like he assured everybody out there, that is coming to unite the this country. country. And I believed him. He's coming to unite this country. Mm. And I believed him. But I don't like it. And I wish he would watch me. Mm. That every platform that is given, the tribe and the, the challenges that he faced in the opposition becomes the center, the central um, topic issue. Mm. Whatever forum, whether he's talking to the permanent secretaries, whether he's talking to to to, to ordinary citizens. Even, now, even sadly mm. at the funeral of you know the late uh, Lieutenant General yes, Shikapwasha. I find it challenging. Now, this I have come to realize. The guilt are afraid. Mm, mm. Here I am, Brebna Changala. I have lived amongst all the tribes. I have never found any problem. My good friend today, the president knows, is like Mulusa. Former the, Solo's MP yes. and former uh, yeah. Minister of National Planning. My other good friend today, although we are not talking, because of these same challenges, is Clayson Amasaka sitting next to the president. Oh, he's a good friend of yours. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We have committed a lot of atrocities together <laughs> <laughs> that are not on record. Yeah, yeah. Atrocities, yeah. not in crimes. No, no, no. Things. But just <laughs> atrocities. <laughs> Is I, 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 when Clayson is with me, we are perpetual sinners. <laughs> the president himself calls Clayson and myself the two musketeers. <laughs> then he's got a deputy secretary to cabinet, mm. Oliver Kalawo. Oh, anyway, Oliver Kalawo. That is. My good friend, mm, mm. a man I met when I was 14. Mm, mm. Did you go yeah. to St. John's together with Oliver Kalama? Yes. Dr. Oliver Kalama. Oh. Dr. Oliver is from St. John's. Oh, okay. Mm, mm. There is Ronnie Mwamba, the, 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 the Auditor, Auditor General. General they, they have failed to take to Parliament, whose name they have failed to take to Parliament. Mm. That's my good, good 
framed. So even when you were <laughs> criticizing Easy. the office of the Auditor General, no, I didn't realize that you actually were personal friends. No. That, many people don't understand. That's how national you are. You are never personal. You, see, no, you are in, in, uh, wrong in, is a wrong. It doesn't matter who's committing it no. or who's been found in the way of the wrong. No. Mm. Because look at me. Under this administration of Mr. Againde Ichilema, I must make a confession. I should have been very comfortable. Yeah, true. If only I wanted to benefit, I should have been very comfortable. Mm with Mr. Again. That's my friend. Mm. But when it comes to national matters, it doesn't work that way. There is one thing I've removed from the equation in my life is opulence. Mm. Living an exaggerated life. Mm. Many people ask me, Brebna, why don't you want to vacate Kawada? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I will not live. Mm, mm. That's where the human soul is. is. Mm. I live amongst the struggling masses. Mm. I am comfortable. I get the best sleep in that house. Mm. My dreams are so glorious and wonderful. I don't need to, to have the best life in Kablonga, or the best life because I'm working with Mr. H.H. at State House. No. Mm. That's why I also don't appreciate that Mr. Againde Ichilema has refused to live in our own house, mm. in our poverty, identified accommodation in Kwazi. Mm. He willingly solicited to be our head of state amongst the poorest of the poor. Mm. And that's the only house they can give him. They can afford. So mm. he cannot divide us by accepting our mandate but refusing, but to, refusing to, re to accept our accommodation. In our, in our located accommodation. Yes. Refuse to live amongst us. He's refused to live amongst us. Now, he's living at community house, which is a private house. And I must repeat here, the acrimony has created in this country because he's not a man who works for, who works for peace. Mr. Hakainda doesn't work for peace. Mm. He works for confrontation. This must be told. When he leaves that office, he will be haunted. Mm. And I don't mean anything bad against him. That community house will be a subject of investigation. And while they are investigation, the same police officers who are going around seizing people's properties, they will still have the mandate to seize that house. Let him hear me clearly. Many times you do not commingle your personal interests with national interests. This is the challenge Mr. Frederick Jacobo Chiruba had. He started keeping his personal money in a Zamtrop account. A government account. Ale weekend alama mungombe shakwa musanda. Let HH ask Madam the Vice President Narumango. What does it mean ingombe shakwa musanda? Explain briefly. You you have a ranch. And I have seven goats, rather seven cows. I am going to UK. I get my seven cows. You have got 200. I say, keep them for me. When I come back, I need my seven cows. So I'm putting these cows in your crow. When I come back after three years, I want my cows. Tell me how you will get them. Mm, mm. Because they will have evolved. Mm, mm. They will have given birth. Mm. Yes. Even so, can be in this you. country, we have got mm. authorities. Mm. Chiruba putting money in a government account, Zamtrop. He lost the money. Mm. 8.5 Mr. Mr. Akainde Ichilema, connecting community house to state house, deliberately so. Because whenever I find there, I find state security 
whose salary is, is drawn from Ministry of Finance, guarding a private property without any statutory instrument. And mm. there have been improvements, mm. such as no, new roads. No, whether improvements, uh, um, uh, I wouldn't go that route. Okay. I'm just telling him he's playing bad politics. He should go uh, to the mm. allocated mm. house. He must go to allocated house, which he fought for willingly for 16 years. And on the, on the 11th of August 2021, we surrendered the keys to him. him. And he, he has refused to accept our offer. And yet he accepted our vote. Mm. Rebna, what would be your last word? My your last word, remarks, my yes. concluding remark is patriotism. Let's be patriotic to this country. But I also want a reversal. When I used to grow up, businessmen never rushed into politics. Politics was a service. And that's why our forefathers in the UNIP, they all died with nothing but with good names. They died without farms. They died without um, factories. They died honorable lives. Now, we have a situation today as to why should a businessman abandon a business that can pay him well to go into politics. The reason is, is very simple to amass wealth and abuse the treasury. No wonder poverty can never end. So you object mm -hmm. to a businessman becoming a politician, even a president? Like even in, in President Haka Mr. Haka Inde Ichilema is having challenges today. He has not won for second his business interests. He's not on record. Secondly, he has refused to declare assets which means Mr. Kainde Ichilema is hiding something. But there is nothing you can hide under the sun. the sun. The true servant of the people, if you look at these administrations, are people like Narumango. Narumango doesn't even own a ticket. That is a true servant of the people. Douglas Siakarima, that is a servant of the people. Gary Combo, the next president of UPND, is a social worker. So the, is Jack the, Wimbo. The, 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 also is Jack Wimbo. Wonderful. Yeah. They accused you of, of brewing conflict in the UPND when you proposed Gary Combo as someone to take over from Haka in the Ichilema. It's the people's choice. Gary Combo, this is an untold story. Mm. I am a friend of the UPND. Mm. I interact with the crying members of the UPND. I was just talking to one senior member today. So they don't find solace in the president. So they look for other leaders like Garin Combo. Yes, they... but they don't have the platform to say it. They fear the repercussions. And re recrimination. <laughs> Aren't you jeopardizing the the political life and success of Gary Combo by mentioning his name as a possible successor to President Hainde Ichilema? I'm just saying what is in the people's mind. If I'm jeopardizing, the, so be it, then Mr. Hainde will continue, but I doubt. If there will be a genuine convention in the UPND, Mr. Hainde stands and Gary Combo stands, I am telling you with a secret ballot, there will be a white wash. There will be a white wash. <laughs> Mr. Aga Inde Ichlema will be retired in the national interest. Thank you. Well, on, on that note, um, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, and all those that joined us, this was the conversation with human rights activist, civil activist, Brebna Changala. We walked with him through you know, the life and times and his interaction with our people and his fight 
for a better Zambia. I would like to thank you for coming and for finding time. Yeah. I know you are so busy. It's and I had, to, I had to wait for you for many days. I'm glad that you are spared, you know, two hours to say prayers. I do too many wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> no, God bless you. And God bless us so of Brebna Changala. We need many of his kind to fight for our country, to fight for democracy, and to fight for, for the Zambia that we want. God bless you. Until next time, see you then. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.